Brown and Sharp Automatic Screw Machine Operator Training Program. Lesson number 10, Knurling. As an operator of the Brown and Sharp Automatic Screw Machine, you will be required to set up, mount, and make the necessary machine adjustments for knurling. The process of forming a series of fine grooves on the outside diameter of a finished part is called knurling. The purpose of the knurl is to enhance the surface finish of a part or to provide a gripping service on the part if used for a knob or lever. The type of knurl roller and the position of the knurl rollers will determine the type of knurl obtained. With an adjustable knurl holder, you can obtain a straight knurl by setting the rollers parallel. This is an example of a straight knurl. A diamond knurl can be obtained by rotating the rollers in this position. This is an example of a diamond knurl. This television training tape will show you how to adjust and mount the adjustable knurl holder for straight knurling. Preliminary setup for knurling can be accomplished on a bench surface. Select the proper pitch knurl rollers in a match set. Mount the rollers to the slot in the holder and insert the roll pins. Be sure the flat on the roll pin will be seated against the holding screw when tightened. Insert the roll holder into the fixture and secure it with the depth screw. The flange on the top of the depth screw fits into the groove in the top of the roll holder. With both rollers installed, you can insert the holding set screws. Do not fully tighten them at this time. Be sure the knurl rollers are set for a straight knurl as shown here. The match lines on both rollers should align with the zero degree mark for straight knurling. This is a lead cam for a part that requires knurling. This is the knurling lobe. It is cut to bring the tool holder on and off the part without damaging the newly formed grooves. With the tool holder mounted in the turret, hand crank the turret to the high point of the knurling lobe. You can now adjust for the length of the knurl. You may use the cutoff blade as a reference in helping you to set the correct length of knurl. This knurling tool holder has two set screws. This one will lock the depth screw in position without locking the roll holder. This enables the roll to be turned to achieve the desired knurl pattern on the part without changing the depth of the knurl. You can now start the machine and stop it before the knurling operation. Hand crank the turret to the top of the knurling lobe. Push the roller down on the bar stock and snug down the set screw. Now back the turret away from the bar and turn down the depth screw a quarter turn. Lock down the roll holder set screw. Use the same procedure for setting the other roller. Start the spindle and advance the tool over the end of the bar to check the operation before you allow the machine to cycle normally. As with other tools, several adjustments may be necessary to get a properly knurled part. This completes your television training tape on knurling. You may watch this tape as many times as you need. When you have finished, return to the operator booklet for your next step.